Or another day and you know a defeat and you and the players must be hurting at the minute. Yeah, I don't think haunting's the right word. I don't think there is a right word for it. Um, it's always it's always very tough coming out and after performing like that for sixty minutes with eleven men, we get a man sent off, we have a unbelievable reaction for thirty minutes with ten men. Um, I can't put my finger on it. None of us really can. There's a few honest words said after the game in the dressing room, which is definitely needed. Um, the staff have been unbelievable for us. They've given us absolutely everything, every inch of the time, every inch of themselves. Um, and it's, it, it, this, this is nothing to do with them. This is, this is on the players, every single one of us. Um, well, <coughs> We need to be honest with each other, and we're much better than that. Um, yeah. And obviously, your captain and taking on that response, but do you feel, in you know, in the dressing room, uh, uh, it's not responsibility for the result necessarily, but, but kind of taking the lead and kind of trying to rally everybody a bit. Yeah, the, that's what the what comes with the armband when, like I said, when it gets passed to me, um, which is always an honour. But you're always trying to give. You're trying to give everybody an extra 10% and yourself. No matter what the score is, 1 2 0 after 20 minutes, you're still trying to push boys. And, um, that's my job. It's part of my job, and I've got to keep doing it no matter what. Um, it's what the manager wants me to do, and it's what I want to do, and I feel like I can do. Um, he puts trust in me and faith in me to do it. Um, but at the same time, sometimes we need ourselves as, and the lads as individuals need to. We need to Believe in ourselves more. From the first minute, we need to play like we did for the last two. You say the last half an hour was, was better. Is there a down to ten? It was that galvanising. But that you know, need to, money. I think said as well. We need to do it from the off. Yeah, that's you said the nail on the head. You need to do it from the off, and it's something that we haven't done. And I can't, like I said earlier, I can't put my finger on it. Um, it's maybe it's a reaction from the red card. Um, yeah, but nothing to lose. I think it's, it's you, do, you see in other games when you watch it, it's, you have nothing to lose, and you, you want to go and try and get a point out of the game. Which I will credit the lads for that we did, but we can't be two 0 down going into half time. It's you're giving yourself an impossible task. Shoots of hope though. We got back into it. There was potential handball, I think, um, near the end. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't see. It. It was so quick, I didn't see it clearly, but it looked like a handball to me. I could be wrong, but look at that stage of the game with 10 men, you've got to, you've got to go for everything really, aren't you? Because you want to get something from the game because it's been a, it's been a tough few weeks for, the, for us and the club. Uh, so yeah, we are trying to, get, trying to do everything to, in our power to get some sort of point from the game. And obviously Dawson Devoy sent off. He seemed to be playing himself into the game a little bit. Um, obviously, he's been in and out the side. Um, he obviously must be very disappointed. Did you see the the, the, um, the um, challenge first of all, and, and also how's he? Yeah, well, um, like again, it happened so quickly. I didn't actually see it very clearly, so I'll have another look back at it. Um, referee said he's gone over the ball, which is not like Doss, so I can't imagine it's been that that bad. I could be wrong, but it's not like Doss. I've seen Doss. He's he's. Um, He's fine, you know. He, he knows. He, know, he knows that he did it wrong. If there is a red, he's not sure. But look, Doss has been brilliant for us since he came in. It's, it's very tough. I've done it myself, coming from from your hometown to moving away and trying to settle in so quickly. And like he's playing in, in the top division in England, like you know, like from playing at home. It's, uh, and to be honest with you, we need that bit of nastiness in us. I'm, I'm not saying go out and red cards and things like that. Definitely not, but. I think that was the first tackle we made all game, which it shouldn't be. Uh, not long before the next game, um, is, is, that, is that a good thing? Are you, you know, rather than a bit of training time, are you happy that, that Bristol Rovers is coming on Tuesday night? Yeah, that's what I love about this league. I think all the players do. I said in previous interviews, match day is the best day, and uh, it will always be like that for me because there's other things going on in life, 
and we're very, very lucky to be in the position that we're in to play football every day and play every Tuesday and Saturday as much as we can. So um, I'll be looking forward to Tuesday and I'll be looking forward for the reaction. Season, you could argue, just hasn't quite got going yet. You've, you've won a couple of games here and there and then not been able to follow it up. And are you, are you looking to obviously learn from games like today, but in some ways draw a line and go, right, let's go again and, and get, get the season started Tuesday? Yeah, well, that's it. You set out to win every game. Um, you take experience from this, you know, it's a tough place to come through us, but um, like I said, you want to win every game, so we'll go Tuesday, we'll lose ex experience from today and we'll go and set out to kickstart our season and hopefully go on a little run of games and get us up that head. This feels like as, as low as we've seen you since you since you arrived at the club. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's never easy having these interviews after a loss like that and look, that's football. I'm still young myself. I'm still going through. I'm 22 years of age. You know, we've a young group. We're all got to go through this stage, and it's another experience for me to, to, to start a season like this. And um, yeah, look, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to improve myself, like everybody else in the team. And highs and lows of football, isn't it? You got you got to get them, and that's why you can't get too high with the highs. And like I said, I can't get too low with the low either. There felt like a little bit of a defensive frailty in that that first half. Yeah, I think that. That's the proper word for it. I think we're, um, yeah, a bit frail, a bit soft, and didn't win our headers and didn't win our challenges and second balls in the midfield. And you know, it's and it's not just individually; it's collectively because we all defend as a team, as an eleven. And like I said, we had honest words in the dressing room, and we've we, we've hit that that um, aspect of the game that we should be better. At. Is there a confidence issue as well? You know, sometimes when your luck's not with you, it feels like it's it's not with you in every element. Yeah, I think you give yourself your own look at some stages as well. I don't, you know, the look is you make it your own sometimes. You make your own confidence. The gaffer puts you in the team. That's all the confidence you should need. You're in the team for a reason. You're good enough to play for us. And I think some, sometimes some of the lads need to have that belief and go and do what he's been putting the team to do, whatever that may be. And yeah, like maybe if, obviously winning games gives you more confidence, losing games doesn't. It's, it's black and white like that. So um, look, we'll, we'll go on Tuesday to try and build some momentum and try and get a run of games going.